Hey YouTube, my name's Matt. This is my first video ever. Um, I'm making this because I am a reseller and I sell on eBay and I love doing it and I wanted to share that with you. So the I've been doing it since 1999 and I source from lots of different places. My favorite place is yard sales. Um, I've sourced from estate sales, thrift stores, um, government auctions, you name it. I thought I'd make this video though because I recently started acquiring pallets of returns from Amazon and it's pretty fun to go through these pallets. So um, this is kind of a long video. I'm going through two of the pallets on this video and so um, stick around if you want to see some some uh, uh, treasure hunting. It's kind of the way that I see it. So anyway uh, happy to be here pallets that are unmanifested which means that we don't know what is on them so it's gonna be kind of fun it's kind of like going through a storage unit um, some stuff could be um, some stuff is new some stuff is normally um, used and some stuff is broken so we paid 500 bucks a piece for these and we're gonna go through and see what's in them so um, in a sec my wife's gonna come out and we're gonna dig through them and see what we can find and so um, we haven't looked through them yet I've kind of seen what's on the outside this one here is um, what we call big Amazon so it's usually bigger stuff I picked this one because I noticed that there are a couple of cool things on it that I think I could flip for pretty good money. Um, including, if you see it there, Delta. I found a, a model number over here. And the Delta faucets, those things can be worth up to um, five or six hundred bucks. So hopefully it's new or uh, uh, very slightly used and not broken. And so uh, just that one item could theoretically pay for this whole thing. I did see a couple other things on here that look pretty good. And then uh, this is what they call small Amazon. These are things that um, uh, right on top, it looks like a bunch of dumb stuff. Um, like these, these uh, hair wigs. And I kind of sifted through this a little bit on top to see what was here and not much to see at first, but we'll see what we can find. I might need to put a light on here so we can see what's in it. But uh, as I pull stuff out that's cool, uh, like this, this is awesome. It's a AR-15 armorer's wrench, which I think these go for maybe 20 to $30 a piece. And I saw two of them in there so far. Looks like it's made by a company called AIM. So um, that's pretty awesome. I could probably use those myself, but um, I need to make back my 500. So we'll see what else is in here and uh, jump back in in a sec. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna go through the big Amazon first. So um, this first one, I already logged this down. I try and log everything that I find so that way I can keep track of when it sells, how much it sells for, and then um, subtract my eBay fees and my shipping fees if I do free shipping and then that way I can figure out what my net profit is so um, this bond photo uh, tripod and it's missing the part that the camera screws onto so um, it'd probably be worth about 40 or 50 bucks but um, but it's probably not because it's missing that piece I'll probably see if I can find that piece that I go through and I'll log it later. So I'll open this box too. This is, uh, let's see, Hume XL Ultrasonic Cool Mist Humidifier. Looks pretty, the box looks pretty good. Let's just look at it real quick. That looks pretty new. So I have to look that up. 
but I'm guessing probably 40 bucks. Maybe 40. I don't think I did that right. I don't think I did that right either. <laughs> All right, this one's lightweight. Let's see what's in here. Oh, hmm. Oh, all right. A royal. That's disgusting. Royal pie pillow. And it comes with. I don't know what this is. What uh, is this? Another pillow? Like a little thin one? Oh, maybe it pops up whenever you open it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, one sealed. That's good. All right. I guess this is pretty obvious what this is. JJ Slot Racing Track. So we'll figure out what that is and then how much that's worth and we'll put it on at the end of the video what everything's worth. But it doesn't look, that side looks like it might've been opened. So does that side. So we'll have to go through that and see if it's, let's see what this thing is. Amazon wrote unknown destroy on it. So apparently they didn't know what it was either. Looks like a bubble blower or something. Oh, wow. That's, oh, you might, maybe you hook it to your hose and blow bubbles with it. I'm gonna have to say this is probably going in the unknown destroy pile as well. Now, I saw this on the pallet when I was buying, choosing what child I wanted. And I looked this up. This is a Fog Fury Phase by ADJ. And apparently it's like a professional DJ fog machine. And so um, this could be a couple hundred bucks if it's working. It's pretty heavy duty. It's got the controller, which looks lightly used the plug. Look. Pretty complete though. So we'll have to test this out. Maybe we'll have like a party or something. It's got like looks like it's leaked. It still has liquid in it. So we'll put this in the test pile. Broken then it might still be worth something. Um Oh, sweet. We were wanting some of these. These are little shoes. No, they're not. Yeah, you could put them on your feet and then clean the house. Right? Maybe they're not even supposed to come with this. <laughs> they are. Oh, bonus. So we got the item, plus we got bonus foot, foot cleaners, floor cleaners. See this is, and this doesn't even really, oh that looks kind of dirty. Oh well, this might be yard sale. We'll have to look up the brand. I've never heard of that. Here's another one of these things. Hopefully these are valuable because we got two. This one looks like it's kind of jacked. We'll have to check that out. Do not drop fragile. Yeah. Well, that's still sealed. Whatever it is. Oh. Oh, a spoon just fell out. It's a tea cut. Oh, it's a tea set. Let's see what brand it is. That's not gonna be a good idea. It just looks like it might be a cheap Chinese thing. See that? 
Royal Royal Classic designed by England. Product of China. Hmm. Well. Wall fillers. Looks like artwork. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Does it? Um, hmm. Well, there's more in here. Mm -hmm. There, there are about. Oh, there are two more. So they must all go together somehow. Oh yeah, look. I don't think I want to put that on my wall. I would have sent it back too. Doesn't that look like a dead mosquito right there? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe that's why they sent it back. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, it tells you how to put it up. Well, the value on that is probably negative in the eye of the beholder, but not not me. Multifunctional laptop desk. Ooh. That's interesting. Bamboo with the. That's probably to ventilate it so that it mm -hmm. stays cool. All right. So we're gonna probably do maybe like two more tonight, and then um, uh, then we're gonna do the rest tomorrow if we have time. Maybe just a few more tomorrow. It's not as easy going through this stuff as we still have. We still have a lot to go through. So that's the good news is we um, probably already made our money back just with that those a few of those things. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, just good news. Um, let's try this smashed one right here. Looks like it's from Target. Yeah, they were using Target ones. Wow. Oh look, they even gave us a little bit of blue tissue. I wonder how much <laughs> how much that helped in the cushioning. <laughs> and then man, they did a really good pack job. This is What does this say? The Hearthside collection. Oh, 36 inch black star. Oh, oh. That's so cool. you put all the pieces together and then it makes a star. But I don't see any hardware, so unless there's hardware in here, you probably have to you probably have to use your own, but that's pretty cool. So you're gonna put it together like that, and it's gonna make a giant star. Outside. It's kinda cool. Um Back did it here. say outside? No. The indoor display only. So we'll have to put it right there next to the fish on the wall. Yep, yeah, they can see it. <laughs> All right. We gotta choose wisely. There's a wreath. It says wreath on the box. There's something that says turquoise. You like turquoise stuff. Furniture, turquoise, office chair. Mm. Oh, that's what it looks like. Mm. It's kinda cool. See maximum drying space. Oh, two of these things. Balance bike. Hmm. Oh, that's one of those bikes that's good for kids that are learning how to ride. Let's see. What's over here? Oh, a toilet seat. That'll be a good one to leave off on. And it's got some neat What's designs on, on it. it. Uh, looks like lilies or something or um, violets. And it's all right. 
Here we go. Whoa. Mm. That is something. Who would even buy something like that? <laughs> well, you can tell why they sent it back. These hinges aren't even aligned. Oh, that's why? <laughs> Comes with the hardware. They didn't even mount it. You could use this for something cool. Yeah, a white elephant gift. Ooh, good idea. Sorry if that offends anybody that might like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's new in box, just open box. It's just jacked up. I don't think... Yeah, the box is jacked and then the hinges are jacked. So it's... This is a yard sale thing, but... Oh, then people will think we actually had it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it could be white elephant too, but this is definitely junk. All right, it's been probably about 48 hours since we last checked in, and uh, we went through almost the entire small Amazon pallet, uh, found some pretty cool things and some really weird things, so I thought I'd make a quick video to show some of the highlights and uh, what it looks like whenever you're pulling stuff out of here. So let's go take a look. This is uh, the aftermath of our sorting. So um, it's not gonna look like this forever, thank goodness. But uh, when you have so many random things, it's just kind of what happens. So um, I'll start over here. This is some stuff that we're just gonna throw in our yard sale. Um, that we pulled out. So, um, bike seats. These are, uh, let's see if we can get one out of here. All right. So, pretty nice bike seats, padded. Probably got about eight of those. Um, and have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight of this style, which is pretty cool. Um, they're padded. They all are bagged and they're brand new. They have like the Springer underneath. Um, these are going in the yard sale because for some reason, bike seats and less, or saddles as some people call them. Um, uh, unless they're like a name brand, they don't seem to be selling very well. So. Um, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'll put them in my yard sale for 10 bucks or something. Uh, DVD, um, external drives. So I uh, got a, quite a few of those. Those also are generic. They don't sell on there. And then also more of them here, just not in the same kind of box. So um, those are all gonna go in the yard sale too. Uh, also, Got a ton of these. This is a Sova non-dated weekly planner. Thank goodness this is non-dated because um, it's gonna last for a lot longer. Uh, it's shelf life is indefinite, I guess. It's a 15 month hardbound uh, planner. They're really nice. It's kind of like a leathery type of a binding. And as you can see, I have quite a few in here for the yard sale. Um, and if you thought that was all, I also have a few here that I'm gonna keep for myself or give out to my sisters or my mom or whoever is interested in one of those. And then um, I also have <laughs> a whole bunch more. Um, and these are gonna probably end up, um, actually they already are, they're on eBay, so. We'll see how those do. Also in this box, this is other, this is an eBay box I'm building up right now. I was not gonna even mess with these. It's like these cheap little binoculars, Aro Sports. Never heard of it. Um, I started reading the tag, Aro Sports 30 by 60 folding binoculars with low light night vision. Um, it doesn't really have night vision, but that's how they, they sell it on Amazon. Uh, so anyway, I looked them up and on eBay, these are like 15 to 20 bucks a piece. And I was pretty shocked. I have 
at least 39 of them I've counted here so far. And if I can get 15 bucks a piece times 39, um, I'll be pretty happy. Um, got some more lousy stuff that we're putting in the yard sale. This is like, it's a, it's a whole bunch of rolls of sticker, like maybe three feet of sticker that looks like, like marble, I guess. It's really lousy and cheap. I don't know who would ever stick that on anything. Um, got some of these Christmas, they're like ugly Christmas sweater candy bags or something. And then these fake flowers. Not interested in selling that stuff on eBay. Also, a whole bunch of this hair that's fake, um, it's like wig braids. And it's a whole box of them. Probably about 40 of them. And I have no idea even how to look that up. I tried to look them up and, um, I, I doubt they're worth anything anyway, so I'm not even gonna mess with them. Uh, let's see. Some other cool things. These are cool. It's Happy Sales is the brand. And these are, these are stainless steel chopsticks. And I have a lot of packs of them. I, I'd probably say 20 or 30 packs. Bunch of fidget spinners. Um, <laughs> This is one of the weirdest things that we got out of there. LED lashes. They go on the the eye, and um, I guess you stick them on with maybe eyelash glue or something. I don't know. I opened a box up and I was messing around with it. I was gonna try and put it on and surprise my wife with it, but um, I couldn't even figure out how to get them to stick on my eyes. And they're really weird anyway. They're not as cool as that picture makes them look. So. Um, uh, when she saw it, she thought that they were pretty stupid too. So, anyway, I uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Got these beard shaper things. It's metal. It's got like a comb on it. And you can use it to shave your beard. So, I don't know how many are here? Probably 20. And those sell on eBay for about 12 or 15 bucks. I don't usually do low profit things like that, but if I have a ton of them. I only have to list it once, and then I just throw it in a bag and or a small box, and then I can ship it off. Sometimes they're already ready to go, um, so it makes it way easier, and um, I can do some volume stuff. This is pretty hilarious. Um, it's like a, it says kangaroo adjustable captain's hat, so Captain Kangaroo, I guess. Probably won't wear that. It's kind of weird, but. Um, this thing is really cool. I saw this package. I'd never heard of this company, but it looked pretty legit. Uh, it's kind of got a shiny logo on the black box. And I looked, and um, this is a video camera. I was hoping when I saw on the sticker on the outside, it said that it was a surveillance camera. And I was hoping that it was going to be something I could wear to, to like do. Um, go to yard sales and um, thrift stores with a hidden camera on and so I can kind of capture that stuff but nope I'm not gonna wear this um, but this is kind of cool I guess the camera is up there in that little dot and then um, you just stick it on the wall and you can spy on whoever you want so it's kind of creepy but um, kind of cool too I guess the major creepy part is probably um, you probably, when you go stay in your next Airbnb, you might want to look out for those. Um, and got some like guitar cables, guitar cords, pretty cool. Um, some weird food stuff. Uh, let's see. This is what the bin looks like now. Uh, it's got like maybe a foot left of stuff. We've kind of picked through just about all of it. I'm still finding random things here and there, phone cases and just random things. Um, let's see. So these things here, um, the, all these these envelopes, they contain two things: a drain clog remover and one of these 
uh, grabber things, you push the button and then a claw comes out. I guess it's a drain removal system thing. Um, and now I'm the proud owner of probably 50 of them. So, uh, yay. Probably not gonna go on eBay. That's probably a yard sale or a swap meet thing. Okay, this box is pretty awesome. Um, it wasn't awesome at first. I was digging through the bin and just pulling stuff out and these kept getting in the way and I knew what it was. It says bulbs on it and I looked inside. It's four light bulbs, the little end. And I was really bothered by them until um, finally I just decided, decided, you know what, I'm gonna look these up. And um, the awesome thing, one had sold with that exact same number on it for 15 bucks, the same model number. And all of a sudden I realized why. These are replacement bulbs, bulbs for Scentsy warmers. Those are the warmers that heat up wax and um, make your house smell good. And these bulbs are what heat the wax up. They sit inside there. So when the bulb goes out in somebody's warmer, they need to buy new ones. And now I have um, six layers of 16 bulbs, plus the two on top, um, times about $15 a piece. Uh, that is pretty good, that is pretty good money. And then the this is the death pile of camera cases. Oh my gosh. Um, the nice thing is they're not all like really old uh, phones that, I'm sorry, did I say camera? These are phone cases, but the nice thing is they're not for old phones. Um, this says um, iPhone 7 Plus. This whole box actually is for iPhone 7 Plus. This is pretty cool. Um, but I don't even mess with these because People in China are selling phone cases for like six cents. If you go online, sort lowest to highest, look at sold listings, you'll see people in China sell phone cases, free shipping, six cents ending price. And I'm thinking, how do I compete with somebody selling something for six cents free shipping? If I was to sell something for six cents free shipping, I'd probably be spending I don't know, I could ship it first class and it'd probably cost $2.50. And so, um, yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with them. I could sell them all as one lot or I, um, I'm probably just gonna put them in my yard sale or take them to the swap meet and sell them for 50 cents or a dollar each. I uh, got a whole ton of these which have no value. It's a color and shapes. Um, game that's made in China and looks like it's for people that are kids that are learning colors and shapes and so no value this does have value I got about seven of them if we can get it to this is the inflatable banana ring toss game for um, get it for your favorite bachelorette I guess anyway they sell for like 15 bucks 20 bucks um, one other item over here real quick uh, is this tub shroom and I started these were also getting in the way like those light bulbs and I was pretty ticked off because I kept throwing them out of the way like why in the world do I have these things in my way I want to get to the good stuff and then I looked these up and they sell anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars a piece it's some kind of a, a a catcher that catches hair from going down your drain, clogging it up. They're all brand new. I probably have a good uh, 20 or 25 of them. And uh, so that is pretty exciting. It's starting to get dark in here, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Uh, got a few of these awesome plasma lights. <laughs> they plug into your to your um, USB port, like on your laptop, and um, it, they're awesome. I'll try and get a shot of how they look um, with the lights out. 
I thought this was funny. This is a um, this is replacement toothbrush heads, and high quality is worth to recommend. Don't forget that. Uh, moving on, got some dog toothpaste, a couple different kinds. So I'll be looking that stuff up. This was a good find. Uh, there were three three packs of these. This is um, called Baby Foot. If you look it up, I thought it was some kind of cheap thing that um, wasn't worth anything until I looked it up. And these sell for a, um, probably 20 bucks a piece. So 20 times nine right there. Um, got some more good stuff down there. Uh, we already went over these, but I, now I have five of them. This is the AR-15 wrench, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, pie, pie Face Showdown game. Listed that. 20 or 30, 25 bucks, I think. These are cool. This is a, these are like Yetis, and they sell for close to a Yeti price. Um, they're, I, I can sell them for, I think, 20 to $24. And um, so, and I have six of them. And then this is also listed now. This is um, Insom Black Insomniac Coffee, Coffee Company made in South Africa. And it's expired, but people still buy expired stuff on eBay, just FYI. You just have to disclose it. And I have six bags of it. I listed them for 40 bucks a bag. We'll see if they sell. And then this huge bag here is all Primal Pit Paste. It's some kind of fancy deodorant um, that's not like deodorant normal people use. Um, it's kind of, it's got, it's vegan, cruelty free, no aluminum, etc. And um, anyway, I am now also the proud owner of probably, uh, I'd say probably 40 uh, bottles or um, yeah, jars of that stuff. And I, um, and I think I could probably get, I think I have it listed two for 18 bucks. So that'll be good. I also got this in there. This is a, a refined hemp oil. And I have six of those and those are selling for 40 bucks a piece. Got all those listed. And then this is probably um, the most recognizable thing that I found was a one ter terabyte Seagate um, backup storage hard drive. It's completely sealed, and um, these sell for 50 bucks a piece, and I have that listed right now too. So, anyway, we will um, finish digging through the small bin, and we have not yet completed the big one. We're gonna wait and do that on film. All right, it's been another day or so, and um, I just got back from work a couple hours ago, and had dinner and now I'm gonna open a few more things. So let's see what's in them. I think this was actually out of the um, the small Amazon palette. This is a premium fiber filled body pillow. In this case, Eh, not that exciting, but it's a dog bed. I think this is what's in here. Uh, acrylic beverage dispenser. I only own, I already own like two or three of these, so I'm not really interested in keeping it. And these are only worth like 20 bucks on eBay. So it's going in my yard sale pile. Um, I 
Oh. Well, this is weird. It's all greasy. I wonder if that's how they packed it, these. Oh. Well, this is a weird thing to get. And a sheath. The sheath isn't even opened. Now it is. Okay. Um, this is made in India. So a big knife and these two little knives. Um, and it looks like they go into here into these little pockets. That's really weird. Um, I can't imagine this is very valuable, but might be fun to chop up something with some bushes or something. They probably returned this because there's rust on the end of it. I don't know if you can see that on there, but, and maybe because it's kind of feels cheap, but it's kind of cool. cork board and looks like it's aluminum or something on the other side probably just this side is the side you use so it's a cork board with hardware and it doesn't look like it's ever been used <clears throat> so that's kind of cool I think my last big pallet we had a cork board in it this. this says neck mitt leather desk blotter it's actually kind of cool so one side is like a felt and then the other side is like um, leather. It's probably good for writing on, I would imagine. This. This says balance bike. And it looks like it's been open. seat and well looks like all the parts or there's the one of the tires the other one and handlebars and some hardware so it doesn't look like it's ever been put together. It just looks like it was opened and looked at and then maybe returned. I think these are those bikes that you can get from, uh, you get them for your kid to train them how to ride a bike before they have to pedal. Looks like we have two of these. Uh, some Two-tier dish rack. We ran out of battery, but um, we, <laughs> in between um, running out of battery and now, we opened up this big box, and it says UPS on the side. It was kind of smashed up, and it was full of packing peanuts. 
which is pretty awesome because I feel like I'm gonna get a huge trash bag of packing peanuts out of this, which always co always come in handy. Oh, there's something else in there. So we gotta make sure we don't throw anything away. In there we found um, this charger and this handle and this, which it's probably about four feet tall. <clears throat> And it has a wheel on one side. So, I'm just getting ready to open it up. This is kind of fun. It's like a treasure hunt. Oh my gosh, this thing is in Joybot. I don't never heard of Joybot, but I'll enjoy it more if it's working. And if it's worth a lot of money. It looks expensive. Wow, it looks really expensive. This thing is crazy. Okay, so um, it's got the word "bot" in it. It's probably electric. Let's see. I guess the other reason why we know it's electric is because it came with the charger. Oh. Oh, there we go. Dude, that's Holy awesome. cow. Um, speedometer on it or whatever that what is. is. I don't know. It's like an electric scooter. I want it. I'll take it. Of course you will. Oh, hey, we have two handles for it now. I'll that thing is crazy. The diameter of that is like like two inches carbon fiber has this big um thing here on the front it looks like the looks like the power is well red probably means stop so that, maybe that's the brake and this is the throttle the tires don't even look dirty they're dirty now because okay I have to look this thing up we're back we're gonna open up some more stuff we're gonna try and knock this stuff out pretty quick we've already cut open a few of the boxes and peeked inside right on top and then the rest of the stuff we haven't even peeked in yet so we'll kind of show what we found um, and, uh, since last time we looked, so this is a big box that was sitting right here and cut it open and this thing is pretty cool. It's might look kind of small on the camera, but it's actually really big. Um, and it's, it's metal, doesn't have a brand. Um, but, uh, and it looks used because it's got a, a s sticker on the inside that's not, it's not a sticker that goes with this. It's a sticker from somebody like keeping waters in here or something. So anyway, this thing's pretty cool. We might just keep it. Um, and another really great pack job. Look how great they did with the uh, 
packing material. They threw this in there and then two little scraps of paper. All right, so some other stuff. Let's see, we open this box. This looks like some kind of a laptop bag. It's pretty nice. It doesn't even really look used. And it's got really nice padding on the inside and kind of like leather type handles. K-A-L-I-D-I. Khalidi? Anyway, that's pretty cool. And then this says the Wreath Depot. And it's actually a pretty nice looking wreath. It's pretty big too. We might just keep that too. The Wreath Depot. And then this little box. Open this up. And this is, it says Rod armrest of smart scooter so i'll have to look this up and see if we can figure out what scooter it goes to oh so it looks like this extends okay i think that's everything that we had opened just to kind of peek inside so let me set this down now we'll open up some more stuff This says turquoise office chair. Looks pretty cool actually. The seat in the back look pretty nice, but it's made of all plastic, so it can't be that valuable. All right, let's see if bigger is better. So this looks like some kind of a black with with red stitching, um, maybe seat covers for a car, but I've never seen a car with uh, pillows before. What the heck are these? I don't know, we'll have to check this out. I don't see a brand name, so it's probably a, a cheap Chinese one. They're not leather, they're, but they look like leather. And it looks like it's a set that'll do your whole car or something. So. I don't know about that. Oh. Ultrasonic Cool Mist Humidifier XL. And it looks like it's been opened. So we'll have to test that. And. Two of them. Both look like they've been open. A big box for a little box. be funny if there was another little box inside this one. Wow. This is this is really exciting. Uh four rolls of wrapping paper. 
that giant box. I'm going to put it back in. And hopefully this doesn't have the same result. No, it's something different. It is... Oh. That's pretty nice. Head Tour Team 3 Racket Tennis Bag. Wow. New with tags and sticker. It's got a barcode on it. Let's see what the barcode um, says it's worth. So we're just going to go to search and then we're going to do barcode scan on eBay. I'm going to scan that. Sold. $39.95 free shipping from Canada. Hmm. All right. So 40 bucks. Free shipping. I like that better than wrapping paper. Let's open this one too. Oh yeah. This is a map where you scratch off where you've been. It says scratch off where you've been. So I guess it's a map of the world. Hopefully it hasn't been scratched yet. All right, what's next? Oh. I know what these are. Trekking poles. Anti-shock trekking poles. Hmm. I already have... Oh. I already have some. So I don't need any new ones. But... Yeah, it's working. Somebody probably just didn't know how to... <coughs> Somebody probably just didn't know how to use it. So, yeah. Um, the whole bunch of wooden poles it, it looks like it might be some kind of a kids play tent I don't know so we found some good stuff and we found some lousy stuff so let's hope there's more good stuff I only get six of them. All right, Let's see what happens when we plug it in. It's kind of cool. All right. A good box. Ooh. Ice cream house tent, indoor or outdoor, for ages three and up. Another LED item. Hmm. Yeah. 
works. It's kind of got a purplish light to it. That's probably yard sale. Oh, oh. comes with a remote control with, uh, you could change the color of the light. So that makes it a little better. This is a This is a meat grinder. Looks like that goes on there. With all the accessories. Cambo Photo. Haven't heard of it, but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, looks like a cheap, a cheap uh, tripod. Blue, blue spotted deluxe lamp stand two pack. I'm not even gonna open that. Multifunction laptop table. Not my style. Never heard of this company, but oh. Height and angle adjustable footrest. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Military tactical backpack with American flag on it. This is awesome. Made by Re. Rebo Tactical. Kind of looks like the other one I have over here. But that one's mine. This one doesn't even look like it's been used. That is cool. Okay, now I'm happy. I was getting a lot of lousy stuff there for a little while, so. Stainless steel stock pot set. Oh, stainless steel stock pot set. Whoa. Yep. Uh, oh, there's a lid probably for the next size down and here's a some kind of drain thing probably so you can steam stuff I guess those are huge it says 32 quarts 40 quarts 52 quarts I don't think I'm ever going to use a uh, pot this big but somebody will. Oh, 
Oh, so each of them has the drain and the lid. It is a bike helmet. Looks brand new, I think. Nice. Uh, actually, this isn't bike. This is a snowboard helmet. It's got the soft padded earmuffs or ski helmet. And a, and a strap on the back for your goggles. Well, I've definitely made my 500 bucks back in, in inventory, uh, plus a lot. And we still have about a fifth of the pallet to go. Ooh. Could be good. It says Eagle Desert 6 High Speed Remote Control Car Series. Oh, it's got six tires on it. Let me get it out. Six by six. That thing is pretty sweet. I have to look that up too. Well, there's a, probably a barcode on here. Nope. Usually if there's no barcode, no barcode usually means that they made it specifically for Amazon or um, a platform where it doesn't need to be scanned is what I've noticed. Like it's pretty well used. It's got some. Well, that's just the protective coating. So, you know, maybe it's. There's the battery. Instruction manual. Hey, finally an instruction manual for something I don't need it. Instructions on, but. We'll have to get that out and play with it. Let's see. Uh, one of the whole reasons I bought this, and it looks, the box looks pretty jacked. It's Delta. I looked at this uh, code when I was checking out the pallets to decide which one I wanted. And I looked up this uh, model number, 9159CZDST. And it was a good one, five or six hundred bucks new. This obviously isn't a new box. Ooh, that is a nice bit of machinery there. sure if you can see it but that is like a golden bronze color these things I believe these things have a lifetime warranty probably for the original purchaser but oh boy this is good news this is very good news the um, installation hardware pouch never opened oh that is that is exciting. Got the instruction manual, awesome. Got the um, the weight here to help bring down the um, the extension. This probably comes out, yeah. So it's a counterbalance. Wow, this thing is clean. Doesn't look like it's ever even been hooked up. Hot and cold water. Oh, this is great. This is this will pay for the pallet all by itself. Woohoo!
All right, so there were just a few more things left on that palette. Um, went through the last couple things. Uh, this was probably the ugliest box on the palette. It was one of the last ones. And um, I thought I would show this one to finish up this long video. And this is what was inside. I'm just getting ready to try putting these together, but this looks like a brand new set of mid-century modern chairs. Um, looks like it has the wood pieces in here and metal brackets down in here. So I'm going to put these together, see if they look any good. Probably try just try and sell them locally. But uh, yeah, about all kinds of stuff. There were a few things that the, the um, uh, camera didn't pick up, but uh, um, and a few things I've already sold over the last day or two. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is a pretty good palette. So um, let me know in the comment section if you like seeing these things opened up uh, and anything I could do to improve the videos. But uh, if you lasted this long, Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.